Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest V, The Next Mutation. We managed to evade Quirk last time out. We're hiding in an asteroid field. Uh, there's some bashing noises, so I think I'm going to try and get out of here. I want to go back to Kiss Your Ass Goodbye, and also, uh, I think it was Thracus, wasn't it? That we went to before? Apparently I missed things at both of those sites, uh, or planets, I should say. So we're going to try... Uh, but Captain, we can't leave Cliffy out there. You've got to go after him. Okay, we're going to put those plans on hold again because Cliffy is out there. So, um, <clears throat> how the hell do we get Cliffy back? That's the question. Maybe we're going to have to go down to the little pod bay or whatever it was. Let's try that. Uh, I doubt we can use the transporter. Hopefully those uh, crashing sounds are not actually going to destroy the ship if there's too many or something. Also, um, my voice is, is mostly back, but not completely, so I don't know if we're going to have to cut this episode a little bit short. I'll just have to see how it goes, I think, and, and play it by ear. Uh, did we have to press something here? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, on we go. So I wonder if we maybe have to use, like, one of the spacesuits down here or something. The doors opening interrupted the animation or the sound for the uh, asteroids crashing into the ship though, it's quite funny. So we've got this panel here, right? So uh, we've got the airlock, the elevator door, pod rotation and the intercom. Let's try calling on the intercom. Cliffy scavenged, oh yeah, we know about that, yeah, okay. So can we grab one of these suits? No, it doesn't look like we can. Can we... Do we still have the mask and the... What's that? <coughs> oh, the warp distributor cap. Okay. We don't have the mask, but we do have an oxygen tank. So... Okay, let's save here. And we'll see if we can maybe go outside somewhere. See if we can, like, use the oxygen tank to go out and grab him or something. Uh, we'll just call it Pod Bay, and then I wonder if we've got to do something with this machine in the middle, perhaps? I guess it's possible, right? Why is this taking so long to save? Has the game crashed? It hasn't crashed, it's just taken a long time for some reason. Maybe it doesn't like this whole area, I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, let's try... Uh, I mean, if we open the airlock, we're going to die, right? So let's try doing something with this. Oh, we can climb in! Oh, we can go out in this! Nice! Maybe this is what we needed to do then. Hopefully... Oh, God. Okay. What is all this? Hang on, let's have a look here. Heads up display. Uh, this is the starboard side thrust indicator. The hand without the watch, land lovers, okay. <laughs> What's this one? Lever controls the amount of thrust expelled by the EVA pods maneuvering jets. Uh, it's your favourite hand, you're right. So, how to use the service pod flight instrumentation. Right, okay. okay. Oh, God, that's a lot there. Oh, Jesus, okay. Let's read this. The lever on the left is your auto navigational joystick. Use this throttle to maneuver the EVA pod. As you move the hand over the lever, direction arrows will appear. Click the left mouse button to move in the arrow's direction. The left and right arrows will turn the pod, while the up and down arrows will move forward or backward. The pod is also equipped with auto stabilizing thrusters. If you click in the center of the arrows or change direction, all engines are shut down. Oh god, okay. The right lever is the remote arm control. Click the hand icon on this lever to either retract or extend the arm. Okay. Oh god. The Model 9 Spacefair EVA pod is equipped with an auto avoidance system which prevents collisions in all but the most extreme circumstances. Console in the upper middle panel is your heads up display. It contains the oxygen and fuel gauges and the radar scope. As you spend more time in the pod your oxygen depletes. Get back to the Eureka before you run out of air. Oh my god. Okay. <coughs> um... Still only gets... Oh, Jesus, this is very, very... <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Right. So, forward. That's the arm. Okay. 
So this is... So where is... Is that Cliffy? I can sort of see something off over here. What is that? Is that just a bit of debris or something? So is the red dot maybe Cliffy and the green dot is like the ship? Oh, there he is. We can see him. Right, how do we go forwards? Like that, I guess. Oh god, not too fast. We don't want to bash into him. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Right, so... Oh, this is actually quite difficult. Did we get him? Maybe we need to go a bit further forward. Stop. <laughs> we don't want to crush him. Right, arm forward. C can that... What happens if we click claw? Does that just... Oh no, that retracts it. Okay, um... Okay, pulling down retracts it as well. Right, okay. Uh, fuel and oxygen look okay so far. Okay, it doesn't look like we can go forward any more than that, so... Can we... Can we do like this? Uh, Cliffy looks kind of like the Michelin Man floating out there in space like that. True. That doesn't seem to be grabbing him though, does it? Can we like maneuver forward a bit? What happened there? Did we go past him? That's weird. Alright, well that's... So... What did it say on here again? Let's have another look at the claw mechanism. <coughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. Pod is quick with stabilising thrusters, we know about that. Right lever is a remote arm. Click the hand icon on the lever to either retract or extend the arm. While the arm is extended, if you click the hand icon on the button next to your right thumb, the claw is either extended or retracted. So it's that, is it? Uh, collision things. Yeah. Fuel gauge. Okay. To return to the Eureka, simply flip. So that's the claw button. But it doesn't seem to be grabbing him. So... Do we need to, like, move left slightly or something? Maybe we've got to, like, grab his torso. Oxygen's getting quite low as well, I've noticed. So that's not ideal. <clears throat> Let's send the arm for... Yeah, oxygen's beeping quite badly, isn't it? How do we... It's not grabbing him though, is it? Or is it? Has it grabbed him? No, it's not. Hang on. Oh, we can't use the oxygen tank we've got either. See, that's too far, so we don't want to do that. Yeah, oxygen's going to run out, it looks like, which is not great. Uh, hmm. So we can extend the arm. We can make the claw get to there. But then it doesn't grab him. Unless we've got to like move forward with the claw out. No, I see it just... It moves away. Claw. Just not. The tightness in your lungs and throat, along with the zero reading on the oxygen gauge, leads you to the inescapable conclusion that you were a fool and spent too much time screwing around wasting your air. Yay! 
Ah, oh, look, Crumpella, a shooting star, make a wish. Okay, Slep, I wish. I wish. I wish we would discover someone else out there among the stars. Don't be silly, Crumpella. Everyone knows there's no intelligent life out there. There we go. Oh, wow, the exploding head was lovely, wasn't it? Okay, well, <clears throat> we know roughly what we've got to do. I don't get why it's not grabbing him. But, I don't know. We'll give it another go, I suppose. At least we know where he is now, right? And we don't need to read all those instructions again. So, we'll head to the red dot. So, let's swing straight around to the left. Okay, there he is. And now we'll head forward. Okay, so that looks pretty much spot on, right? Maybe a bit closer. Right, so arm goes forward. I, d I don't know if it's just that we're trying to pick him up on the wrong part of his body or something. I thought we might be able to grab his legs. I don't know, perhaps we've got to... Let's see if we can sort of position it where his torso is. Right, let's try that. Is that gonna grab him if we... It looks like we're not quite close enough, but I don't wanna go... Ah, target in range, there we go. So do we just... Yes! Cliffy has been successfully grappled. Now all that remains is to make it back to the Eureka, if you can find it. We can find it. It's the green dot. Right, let's spin round. Oh god, I love the way that he's just, like, floating there in the claw. Uh, stop! Stop! Okay, now forward. And we should see the Eureka any... Ah, there it is. I can see it. It's over to our right slightly. Right. It's said to, to return to the ship, you just fly into the general vicinity of it, right? Good flying, Ace. You've returned to the safety of the Eureka. We did it! We've got loads of score for that as well. I can't believe we actually managed to do that. I mean, gr <laughs> granted it was the second attempt, but... Cliffy, you owe us one. You okay, Cliffy? Just give me a minute to rest and catch my breath, sir. Thanks for pulling my butt out of the sling again, Captain. That's two I owe you, true. Think nothing of it, Chief. Okay, I won't, but you need to get us out of here, sir. I don't know how much longer the Eureka can stand the pounding she's taking. Good point. Let's get the hell out of here. You stay there, Cliffy. Just uh, have a bit of a rest, I guess. Elevator door. And then we'll head up and we'll get the hell out of this asteroid field before we die. Seems like the asteroid collisions are going up a little bit as well. More frequent. So, let's get back. Should we save? I feel like we should definitely save. Right, let's save. Let's see if it has the same lag thing save in here, just out of curiosity. Uh, saved Cliffy. It's true, I guess we got him out of prison before as well, didn't we? Which was a big help. He better repay us in some way. Yeah, it didn't do the same laggy thing here, so maybe there's some weird thing that if you save in the pod, like escape pod area or whatever it's called, then it, it lags, I don't know. Let's just get the hell out of here. Drool, I want you to lay in a course so we can escape this asteroid field, please. I would like you to take us to Kiss Your Goodbye again. Uh, lay in a course. What coordinates? 20011, please, sir. Let's get the hell out of here. In your own time, draw. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I would like us to go to light speed. 
And then we'll see what we missed on Kizuru Azkabai. I'm not really sure what it was, but I guess we can probably have a safer look around there. I'm not going to say a safe look, because you never know, there might be... Excuse me. Something else waiting for us on the way down there now that we dealt with WD-40. But hopefully it might be safer to have a look around. There won't be anything trying to hunt us down so we can take our time about it. Uh, right. Should be any time now, right? I do, like I've said it a couple of times, I do like this mechanic. We're approaching our destination, Captain. Uh, excellent. Can you please go to regular speed then? Did we go to regular speed? No, there we go. Okay, uh, let's go into standard orbit, please. And then we will look to beam down to the surface. Guys, I will be back. I'm going down onto the surface again. This time not to be hunted by a crazy space terminator. And I'm going to fart while I get up as well. Just You guys can enjoy that smell while I'm gone. Let's head down and we'll beam down to the surface. Okay, through we go. Do we need Spike again? I'm thinking probably not. I, I, I kind of want him to stay in the tank if, unless we definitely know we need him just in case he escapes. Uh, right, let's jump up onto here. Cliffy's back to doing all of the things that he does. Apparently kicking that. Uh, oh yeah, we have to use the command option, don't we? Energize! Wait up, Captain. I'll go with you. Okay, he's coming with us. Nice. Really slowly, it turns out. <laughs> Come on, Cliffy. Oh, we beamed in somewhere else this time. Hey, why are we beaming here? I wonder if this little device had anything to do with it. Huh. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, guys, we're going to investigate that in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, and Barry Aldridge for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.